Hey guys, what the frig is going on? Filming with the GoPro session because we gotta go outside and we gotta deal with some mother friggin' snow. You remember how I said that uh, we didn't get much snow this year? Well, I spoke too soon because guess what happened? It snowed like a son of a goof and we got blanketed. So we got a lot of snow outside. End of the driveway looks like hell. I pretty much hopped the truck in the driveway, so that was kind of fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to go outside, do something that I haven't done in a while, and that's fire up the snowblower. Because I don't feel like shoveling this. There's a lot out there. And I'm pretty tired. So let's go blast some snow, shall we? All right, guys. So as you can see, there's a reason why I'm wearing the big boots, it's because we got hammed. So, the truck's in the driveway still, not a big deal. Let's go ahead, pop the door open here, get inside the gurge. Holy crap. Get the light on. Yay, light! Get this shit out of the way. Okay. Alright. Go ahead, sit you guys down here. How are we doing for fuel for this thing? Are we still good? Yeah, oh, there's gas in there. We're good. All right, let's go ahead and pop the bay door if we can. Lovely. this beast up. And let's go deal with the dry. Okay, so I did Oreo's poop pad, did around the door, around the base. Didn't widen the driveway as much as I wanted to, but don't really care. I'm the only one who parks in here anyway, so good stuff, good enough. I know down there I could have cut pretty close because the 
there's not much space between where that box is. Literally, the wall is right there. So, theoretically, I could have chopped all this and sent it, but meh. Like I said, nobody visits. We're all good. But anyway, I'm going to go inside because now I want to do a workout. Even though I just did some cardio, now it's a good time to lift. Alright guys, did my work, I had my shower, you all were asking, well a couple people were asking, where's Scampers? She's right here. She's she's right here, she's just being a kitty. Right kitty? Hey, Scampers. What's this? What's this? Yeah, I'm awesome. So she's right there. She's just hanging out. I don't film her much because usually she's not around. Like she's around, but she's not around. It makes no sense. Basically, she likes to hide. Hence the name Scampers, because she scampers around the house. Anyway, I'm just making some ground beef here, well, ground turkey. I'm just going to drive this in my face. I'm pretty hard on my workout today, another full body. So, I noticed something pretty cool at work today. Basically, I discovered something pretty awesome. See... Last year when I went on days in January, around halfway through January, I talked to my manager about getting one of the sit-stand desks at the end of the office because it wasn't being used because the individual who was using it moved to a different role and it was kind of sitting there vacant and I was like, man, that'd be sweet to have a sit-stand desk so like when I'm feeling restless and energetic... I can just put the desk in stand mode and stand up and then when I'm feeling laggy and tired I can put it in sit mode and sit down. Pretty sweet concept, right? So I did an experiment on last well last week on Thursday or on Wednesday I should say because I was off on Friday. On Wednesday I sat down all day. It was also a live chat day. So I literally sat in my desk and just kind of hung out and did my own thing and, you know, talked to clients, fixed problems. Didn't get up. In an eight-hour shift from 9, well, basically till 5 p.m., my total calories burnt in the day were about 1,900 calories. That's what it was when I got home. On Thursday... I decided let's be more energetic and let's do a full day of standing. Put the desk in stand mode, did a full day of standing from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And when I got home, I had 2,600 calories down. The difference between sitting all day and standing all day is 700 freaking calories. Guys, that's like if you want to have a Big Mac at your job for the eight hours you're there, don't sit in a chair, just stand up. You've burnt the, the, the calories needed to consume that Big Mac. Congratulations. Go drag one in your face hole. I've been eating a lot of food lately. I, I will admit. Um, today for lunch I had a chicken thing. A uh, chicken wrap from the, uh, the cafeterias. It was freaking awesome. Loaded it up with veg and fresh cooked friggin chicken breast. and It was not a keto. I wasn't. <laughs> I haven't been eating keto right guys for a little while. I need a lot of carnivore, but not really full-on keto. But uh, that's okay because I haven't bounced back that bad in the weight department. I have gained weight, but that's because I'm putting on muscle. As far as the fat percentage goes, she still seems to be around the same zone. So I'm okay with that. Because here's my battle plan. My birthday is on March 15th. So I'm going to continue eating like a freaking pig all, su all summer. Holy crap. All February. Keep lifting heavy all February. And then come March. March 1st, which I believe if I'm correct, which I'm probably not because I'm stupid, uh, falls on a Saturday. I could be wrong on this. But if I'm right, which would be amazing, uh, it falls on a Saturday. And what I'm going to do is hit the ground running into a 13-day fast. Just like I did last year before my birthday. I fasted from the 1st to the 13th. 
The reason being is on the 14th last year, Joss made us birthday cakes, me and my buddy Jean, because he's born on March 14th. I was born to March 15th. And she's both of our friend, so she was like, I'm going to make you guys birthday cakes and you're going to eat them with your face holes. And that's what we did. All right, guys, dinner is served. Freaking, that's it, ground beef. Let's go drive it in my face. But uh, no, that's what I'm saying is um, this year we're doing the same. We're going to go from the 1st to the 13th, break it on the 13th, eat something on the 14th, so that by the 15th, if we consume food, we're not having gut problems. That's the battle plan for me. And I should be able to shed a lot of fat in that time and feel pretty damn good back down to a proper weight that I want to be, which is around 210, 215. Anyway, I'm going to drive this in my face. Peace. All right, guys, I just ate my dinner, edited up the video for today, and I realized something by accident that, you know what's more fun than watching someone snow blow a driveway? Watching someone snow blow, uh, snow blow a driveway in reverse. Like, check out this footage. Here's me totally going in reverse, snow blowing the driveway. It looks like I'm somehow magically putting the snow back on the freaking driveway. How freaking cool does that look, eh? It's like the magic of thucky power, thucking the snow from the land and putting it back on your driveway. It's super fun. It's super exciting. Fun for the whole family. Like, that's probably got to be the coolest thing I ever did with my with my camera ever in the history of camera doings but I could be wrong but I'm probably right but anyway uh so yeah did the workout freaking did some rack pulls did a bunch of nonsense I freaking I started this thing called the peck gauntlet where I basically do um cable presses from the bow flex on an incline and then I do flies and then I go over to the new bench and I do dumbbell presses and then I finish off with push-ups well what I did this time around was I did uh, cable, the same cable presses flies and then I went over to the bench and I started off with the 40 pound dumbbells pressed them till I couldn't then went down to the 30 pound dumbbells pressed them till I couldn't then went down to the 15 pound dumbbells pressed them until I couldn't and then flopped over and did some bend, uh, some uh, push-ups and did them till I couldn't. And let me tell you, my taters are going to be so freaking sore tomorrow, it's going to be awesome. Like, if these bitches don't hurt, there's a problem. I did three sets of that. And then I, st I decided to uh, jump into back, so I did, uh, I striked my, um, my lats and my traps and all that fun stuff with different workouts that I got. I don't know, see... I think, I think he might be eating snow. I think he might be eating snow. He just wanted to go outside for a quick pee. He went paper times, now he's coming back inside times. Right, buddy? Right, buddy? Who's your buddy? You're stuck on that leash. There we go. Alright. So I did all that nonsense. Felt good. I did uh, lap pull downs, barbell rows bunch of junk just a bunch of junk and then I decided I wanted to strike my shoulders so I figured you know what let's superset a superset that nobody's ever supersetted in these in the series of supersetting let's do the most craziest friggin superset of all supersets of supersetting I did shoulders so I did front raise and then side raise so boom 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 and I would just basically do that to the point where my shoulders were on fire and then I'd bang up five more and then I went over and did 50 sit-ups. Then back to shoulders, back to sit-ups, back to shoulders, back to sit-ups, back to shoulders, back to sit-ups. Tomorrow my shoulders are going to be on fire and my abs are going to be like an accordion. It's going to be awesome. So, needless to say, that was great. Oh, and for legs, I did the sh a bunch of squats because I like my squats. They're really helping my my legs, but I noticed that um, there was an Athlete X video about squatting that was pretty sweet where they talked about um, doing quarter squats because like when you're going to jump you're not going to go all the way down to the bottom and launch you're just going to go from here and launch so like you're not going to squat all the way down and jump you're going to just go from here and jump right? and I just started jumping now everybody wants to party so 
I was doing full squats, and that was great. And then I decided to like superset with quarter squats. So I did full squats until fatigued, and then I just started banging out quarter squats like crazy until I couldn't anymore. And uh, let me tell you, that really kicked the living crap out of my legs. I don't know how the hell I'm going to stand at a desk tomorrow. It's going to be fun. So I'm probably going to be getting to bed real shortly there. It's nine quarter after nine now. We're 3,600 calories out the hole. And I'm going to call our boys. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Sorry, I filmed it with the GoPro. That was my stupidity. And, uh, yeah, probably the stupidest thing done in the history of stupid things, eh? Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And peace the frig out. Sit, stupid. Sit. Good dog.